I went to go buy myself a yoga mat because I started working out again. You know, I, I gave up early this year. So I'm going to be using my Zule, um Ultimate Prep Trio. And this is the order that I use it in. When's the next scoop party? Girl, I don't know. I was just telling... um. I was telling my husband earlier, I was like, damn, after seeing all these good scoops people got, I think I'm going to go broke. Like, no more scoop parties. Y'all took all my product. Hey, just kidding. Kidding, not kidding. But um, they're definitely fun. I don't know if I'm going to do one in October. I'm still trying to think about that. Can I see your finished hand from your other night? I missed the final product. Oh, the, the one on my right hand? Hold on. I did myself a 3D spider, but I didn't glue it on like really good. So when I went to work last week, I it came off in my glove. I don't know if it's because I kept bumping it or what, but I was like, what the fuck is in my glove? And I just ended up taking the head off. So the body was the one that came off. And then I took off the body because it looks stupid just chilling there. And I was like, I'll I'll glue it on later. And then I left the salon and I forgot. I totally forgot to bring it back and glue it on. I was like, damn it. I was like, oh, well. But the spider was so cute. When will we have more info? I actually need to ask to see what the address is and everything and the city. So that I can give everybody the date and the location. But for sure, it's going to be November 12th. For those of you guys who didn't know, I'm going to have a pop-up in, I think it's Pico Rivera in California. Where you guys can come and shop your Zule products in person. I will have a few items like a little special discount just for all of you guys who came through. How big is that size zero in those tips you have on? My thumb is a size zero. I have big ass fingers, girl. So it fits my thumb. Do you do acid primer first or non-acid? Um, I do the acid first. And the reason why I do that is because when I've noticed that whenever, like, let's just say if I were not to use the non-acid one. It's preference. I just do all three because I feel like it just works even better. When I apply acrylic, I feel like if I apply my first bead, it like floods the monomer. It kind of like goes everywhere when the nail plate is like super dry. Oh, shit. I don't like that. So, um, the non-acid one. Oh, shit. That one leaves a tacky layer. So, I feel like the acrylic or the gel, whatever enhancement you're doing just sticks so much better to that and with the acid base or just in general you need to be really careful not to touch your skin the least amount of skin contact as possible because you do not want to become allergic to any product the more that you come in contact with it the higher the chances that you may develop an like an allergy to it later down the road. Sucks, but it's true. That's why I wear gloves at work. Fuck that. Why well, wear one glove? Enseñame tus uñas. Si, ahorita te las enseño, amiga. Hold on. Let me just put my, 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 my primer. So these are my uñas. I'm ready to change them up already. Today's Wednesday, huh? Maybe on Friday, I'll change these and I'll do something different. I'm going to go to Disneyland on Sunday. So I'm going to do these like Disney inspired, like Halloween theme though. Like, um, like the Mickey Pumpkins. 
All right, let me pour a little acetone in my monomer thing to clean the little glitters. I forgot to clean my bowl. That would be cute, huh? Let me see, are these longer? Oh no, those are longer. I feel like these are fitting for Halloween though. Yes, I actually did these for Halloween. Normally us content creators, we try to do nails for you guys in advance so that um you guys can start getting ideas. I've done a Mickey pumpkin before, but this time I wanna do a um pinche glitter no se quiere quitar. I want to do like a full Mickey, 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 Mickey pumpkin. The glitter doesn't want to come off. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, let me get my monomer. Yeah, I was going to try to do them on my left hand, but girl, mm -mm. I ain't even going to embarrass myself like that. Like, no, Felicia, you cannot do that to your other hand. So that's why I always try to keep it simple because I can barely do things with my right hand. So for those of you guys who don't see me very often, I'm going to be using my opposite hand. I am a lefty. So voy a estar usando mi uña, mis, mi mano. Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Yo uso la zurda, so voy a usar la otra mano. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of clear acrylic because I always tell y'all that I do this all the time, especially when I'm using like pig very pigmented colors like black. I'm going to be using black on my nails. When the orders from the scoop ship, they've already been shipping. So they're shipping in the order that well, actually, I'm not sure we kept them all completely in order, but we tried to in the order that they came in. So we shipped some on Monday. We shipped some yesterday and some went out today. So tomorrow, I'm hoping we'll be completely done with all the, the scoop orders. Thank you, everybody who placed an order or two or three. How many are? How many orders did you guys place? I know there was a few of you guys who placed like four orders. I was like, ay, amiga. Te van a dejar sin comer. Hello. Hello. All right. So let me just put this one here. And then my little thumb. Two I placed four. You're like guilty, Zile. You're talking about me, Zile. M U A baby. ¿Cómo te llamas tú? I'm getting my scoop tomorrow. Yes, honey. I was fighting my sleep and crashed out before you pack my order. Hey, it's gonna be a surprise now. Yes. For those of you guys who were not able to see your scoop, now it's a surprise. Even better. There's a stupid glitter here. Cassandra. Oh, are you Cassandra? Hold on. Ortiz or Cruz? Yeah, I don't think they're in order because I was in the first batch, but my tracking hasn't updated. Yeah, we just put them in boxes and then um, it got out of control. Cruz. Okay, yeah, I remember you. I remember you. Yeah, we put them in boxes and we've been going back and forth from them. But normally the tracking, sometimes the post office doesn't scan them until they get to like a distribution center in your state. So hold on to me. Bitch, I got some pointy nails for a reason. It's okay though, I can't wait. I can't wait for you guys to see your pretty stuff. <laughs> Did El Jefe get chupi chupi or y'all were tired? Girl, we fucking fell asleep. There was no time for no chupi chupi or fucking nothing. It's like we been tired as fuck. Si apenas me bañé, con trabajo me bañé. So check it out. This is Buchona. Stiletto's coming in clutch for real. Okay, let me just drink some coffee real quick. 
Mm. I just bought myself a um a what is it called? Let me get my brush. Oh shit. A syrup, a toffee syrup at Marshall's, and I'm like tasting it right now. Hmm, I don't know what color to do first. Let's see. We're gonna do. I'm just gonna do the black already. Let me see. What finger would I like black? Probably my middle finger. So, um, no, I'm going to do the glitter last, preferably, because then it's going to get all over. I mean, who cares, huh, if it gets all over? At least this nail, I don't want glitter in it. So, this brush that I'm using right here is a size 16. This one's a size 16. I don't really use the bigger one on my right hand because I could barely control my fucking product with it. With a normal brush. Imagine with a really, really big one. So for this black acrylic, you do not need a lot of product and it's like super pigmented. Super duper. Who's your new baby, Portia? I want that black so bad. It's so beautiful. Who's your baby? Portia, who's your baby? I'm a baby, baby doll. So I like the fact that this color, well, a lot of the colors, they give you time to to work. Normally, I'm like hurrying the fuck up because they're drying too fast. But that's only like the, the what is it called? The cover collection. That should be drying so fast, so fast. I don't even do acrylics, but I love your lives. Yes, honey. She, you, y'all all welcome. Even if you don't do nails, who cares? Are you posting this video on, on YouTube? Um, yeah, I always post all my videos. It takes me a little while to post them. Hold on, let me just get my cuticle bead. Um... I always post my videos, but it takes me a little long because... They take forever to download and forever to upload. So please don't judge my finger. This one is a weird ass finger of mine. Like, I don't know if it's because of the way that I hold my, my brush and my pencil that it's just a weird finger like shape. From right here, like it pushes in. And so my nails like weird. So I try to give it lipo and shit. Like make it a little slimmer. Let me just fill in this side that I never really get. Oops. Oops. Lipo, yeah, girl. I try to make my middle finger slimmer a little bit because it's super wide. Like, y'all saw my natural nose. Weird. Like, right here. I try to not cover it off so that it looks slimmer. I can't wait till the the merch comes. What do you recommend for beginner nail ticks to buy? Um, definitely a brush, a few colors, not too many, girl. Don't get too cray cray. Um, some pre shaped nail tips. What else? A good nail glue, 
Oh, a good brush, girl. A good brush. Don't go by the the price. Like, oh my god, this one is cheaper. I'm gonna buy that one too. No. Don't go, don't be a coda with your brush. Don't be a coda with your electric file. Be a coda with other shit, but not that. Is a smaller brush size better for beginners? Yes, small. Not too small, like a 3D brush, but small. For a beginner, I do recommend a size 8 to 12. And then once you figure out how to use your, your like how to maneuver with it and shit, then you can graduate to something larger. And I only say that because... Like, as a beginner, you're still learning your product, your product to, I mean, your liquid to powder ratio. So, if you have a giant-ass brush, I mean, people still learn like that. Picture it like if you're learning to drive. Are you really going to start driving in a truck? No, bitch. You're going to fucking crash into shit. You're going to fucking do all kinds of things. It's intimidating. So, I mean, people do learn, but you want to start off in a smaller car, you know, learn how to do the turns, do all that type of shit, park, and then you're like, all right, I'm a bad bitch. I could handle the truck, which is um the bigger brush. <sighs> Zule, does your dusty acrylic dry fast? Yes, it does. That one does dry fast. A lot, majority of my acrylics dry fairly slow. So if you're a beginner, professional, whatever, they they are very good, especially for beginners. You just have to give them a little, you just have to wait a little bit for them to start setting. But how to call it, patience is key in the nail game. So until you have perfected your craft, then you can go work on your speed. Do you use a smaller nail tip? Oh, fuck. I didn't see. I didn't see. All right. So, let me show you guys how thin my nail is. It came out a little lumpy, humpy in the middle. But, let me add a little bit more. But it's very, very thin. Again, my right hand is stupid. So, here and there, it'll do lumpy nail. Lumpy nail better for you, okay? It's new design. New design. Oh my God, you're teaching your daughter with a truck? Girl, well, I learned to, dr to drive in a stick shift car, so that's even worse. My friend that I used to work with, he taught me how to drive in his stick car. So not only did I drive stick, learn to drive stick but bitch i was learning to drive i was like oh girl all right so i'm gonna go ahead and do another one with black i'll probably do this one you need more practice on that hand mm -hmm. even though i've been doing it forever but it just does not get easier it's hard to do your opposite hand You know what I need to do? I need to turn off this AC is what I need to do too. Because I'm cold. Hold on. Hold on. It's starting to get cold over here. I'm so excited. Last night, it went down to like 60 degrees. A mí me sale bien mal, girl. A mí también. I've, I've gotten better. And I guess my right hand. Zule, you cold? Never. I am cold right now, actually. I've gotten better, but here and there, my hands have their days. Like, my right hand could be a good girl today, and then tomorrow could be a complete dumbass. 
like honey you forgot how to do nail or something or something honey honey um do my colors need to be encapsulated i do recommend for you to encapsulate all the time this is something that i mention all the time you do not want to waste your acrylics on just one client or two because clear acrylic has the strength has more strength than colored acrylic plus how to call it you don't want to waste your product like that because one day that color will be um discontinued and you're gonna cry that's my worst fear to discontinue colors that's why i try my best to always always have my shit in stock because i hate when other companies had shit out of stock like no so that's why when you guys come to my store we always have for the most part what you need because i stay on top of that shit Like, I hate when I go to Target, they don't have my eyeliner. Like, what the fuck? So, how to call it, I, I always stock the fuck up, too. So, that's another, another tip. Stock up on your favorite shit. You have gel polish? Yes, we do have gel polish as well. Is that mine? Mm. <gasps> Can you open it? I'm trying to. Can, are they my curvies? What kind of glitter is best for sugaring a nail? Use a very fine one and it did not come out too. Well, it depends. There's some that are like specifically you. I guess you want to use one that's fine, but not too, too fine. And then you can just use all of them. They're my Kirby's. <laughs> oh, my God. Take one out. I'll take one out of each one. Yeah, my Kirby's. We're about to do Kirby nails, guys. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh my god. I thought they were gonna be bigger. What the fuck? I think that's fine. Look at my little Kirby. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> oh, they're so hilarious. I love Kirby, guys. Aww. They're so cute. That's it? Two more. Two more? This one goes Girl, I love Kirby. My husband and I are literally working on a sick painting of Kirby. Oh, you're going to need these in your life, girl. I'm going to be putting them on my website soon. Maybe tomorrow. There's one more that I got to show you. Ah, look. Here's a little star. And look how big they are. They're so little. My toys. Kobe's. They're so cute, huh? Okay, now let's do a nude nail because we need some nudes up in here. Let's see. I'll do the ring finger nude. This one dries a little bit faster, so I gotta go a little fast. Damn, I stained my nude with the black, but fuck it. This color is so pretty anyway. I'm using my 3XL Coffin Nail Tips. Hold on, there's a little pelito down here. To use a smaller tip to give your white nail. No, I don't make it smaller. I'm Sometimes I have, to be honest. Um, but nothing too small where it's going to like hurt or apply pressure to the nail. I 
I want a piña colada. Did you finish your thumb? No, I'm going to put glitter on that one. So I'm going to do it like an ombre, but with flitter. With flitter, honey. I would not even attempt to do a nude ombre on that one. Uh-uh. I would like so embarrass myself in front of y'all. I could barely do an ombre with my right hand. Imagine a nude and a black one. Honey. I'm being, I'll be asking for it. Hmm. Portia's going to be loving my nails because she likes black. Oh my God, Paige, I swear you were making me fucking choke on my breakfast yesterday. That shit was so fucking funny. So, Zule, where did you keep your charm fortress at, honey? What? Where do I keep it at? No te voy a decir, amiga, no te voy a decir, porque luego van a venir a, a robarme. Um, Paige... So yesterday, I think it was yesterday, huh? Um, Portia had a premiere on YouTube and we were talking about how we have like a whole little Zule tribe language where I'd be talking about, I put like on my scoops, I'd be like, oh, you got yourself a fruitation and this and this and that. So what the hell did you say that made me laugh? Chupiation. Did you do the chupiation? <laughs> oh, that shit was fucking hilarious. Fruitation. We're watching Zulation. She's doing the fil filiation. No, Portia was doing the filiation. That show was funny, 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 funny. So my nude did get a little bit, just slightly darker because of the black and the monomer. I should have changed it, but you know what? It's cool because it's like darkness. It's like, mm, it didn't really change too much, to be honest. Every time I see glitter, I say flitter. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't no flitter. It ain't no flitter. Or bling a ling a ling a ling. Does anybody say that? You want some bling a ling a ling ling? I'm going to make you guys all love black. If you guys are not black fanatics on your nails, you about to because I'm going to be using black in every set until October. We are about to be using this black hole. The acrylic, okay? Not a, your black hole for real. I just kidding. <laughs> we so funny. We so funny. Um, let's see. Hold on. I'm going to add a little bit more here at the tip so it could be super, super pigmented. Um, what is it called? We were talking about black holes the other day. So this acrylic is called black hole. Okay. Just in case you guys are like, what did she just say? Yeah. The acrylic is called black hole. We're going to be using black hole all month. You could use your black hole all month, too. What's your inspo? I don't have an inspo. I just want... Um, I just want something... Well, originally, I wanted just something nude and buchona, the buchona color. Because I have been wanting to use it for a quite a minute. But then, hold on. I'm going to encapsulate the middle one, the, the black one already, so that I don't get glitter on it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I get glitter on it because it's going to get covered. So let me show you guys the glitter. I 
I really want to see it. Oh my god, it's so cute. I forgot what I was saying already. It's so sexy. Oh yeah, originally I just wanted nude and this color, Buchona Vibes. And then I was like, nah, girl, that is too neutral for me. Like, I like it, but I know I'm going to get bored of it quick because I like things that are, that are bright. I know black is not bright, but it's bold, you know, it's not like subtle. So I, that's why I think I'm starting to dig it more and more. And so I was like, why not do all three colors? So that's why I'm going to be doing a little bit of black, a little bit of a shana. And then I'm going to do some 3D roses, I feel. I'm not sure if I'm going to do 3D roses or like for sure a black flower somewhere. I've been feeling that. So that's that was my vision a little bit. And I was like, I shall do my nails. And normally this hand, I keep it for longer than my right hand. So that's something that I could definitely keep without wanting to change up fast. You got lost in the flitter. Uh-huh. I did get lost in the flitter, honey. I love flitter. And I want a lot of bling. So check it out. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more towards the tip. You know, like it's raining. Flitter. All over the nail. Flitter. Have any of you guys heard that song? It's raining tacos, but it's raining flitter. Flitter, flitter, flitter. I'm going to put a little bit right here. And see how thin the application is, guys. You guys do not need a lot. The clear will give it the thickness. It ain't no flitter. It ain't no flitter. I don't, I don't know why, but I changed my napkins too much. Flip it around too late. Don't be throwing napkins away. Okay, next I'm going to do... Hmm... I think I'm going to do my pinky also with the flitter. It's like, I want to toss it out already, but it's like, Zule, you still have nail. I mean, you still have a dry side. Relax, bitch. Like, okay, okay, okay. My monomer is black, actually, a little, not like super black, but with the black acrylic, it got dark. It looks darker on the camera, to be honest. Like now that I lifted it off the napkin, you could see it's still purple, but it shows like it's black. Most definitely getting Buchona vibes and black hope. A bitch is about to go broke messing Zule. No, honey, you're not going to go broke. You're going to be a Buchona. Buchona vibes. All right. And then I have this wrist apple thingy majingy. What is it called? A wristband. Girl, I also have it on my website just in case you want it. You don't know what it looks like yet, but it matches this. Girlfriend, you're going to want it so bad. <sighs> I can't wait to put on my fucking, my watch now. With my buchona nail, my buchona wrist thingy. Este glitter se llama buchona vibes. ¿Cómo la ves? ¿Cómo la ves, amiga? ¿Cómo te quedó el ojo, buchona? Vamos a estar todas buchonas. Ahí viene la buchona. Ni, 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 ni. 
I'm using the 3XL coffin tips from my website today. I was going to do square, but I was like, eh, coffin. Because they do end up a little bit like more coffin tapered square-ish vibes. A poco. Claro. Claro que sí. What? is your website oh i'm sorry the link is on my bio for my website or you can just look me up on google i'm there just type in zule's nails and you will find me i've had my business on google for about eight years already so even if you just type in zule's nails my website comes out i feel like i should probably put it on this one too Fucking shit. Or should I try to do a French? It pops right up. First thing is one of a kind. Mm hmm. I'm gonna try to do a French. Fuck it. Fuck it. So I could do watch y'all see. You will see. Do a marble. All right. Let's do a a um we're going to do a poll. If you guys want me to do a marble nail, we're going to do a poll. If you want me to do a marble nail, you're going to do the happy face. If you want me to do a Frenchie, you do the crying face. Okay, ready? So go. So right here, if you want me to do a marble nail, do that little face. If you want me to do a French, do the crying one. I'm going to go with crying just because I want to, I want to, what do you call it? Test my limits here. Okay, guys. Y'all are in a row fucking voting today. The fuck? Where's this energy been at, fucking bitches? <laughs> no, hombre. Ustedes estaban bien dormidas a la verga these other times. Oh, my God. It's a tie. Bitch, it's a tie. Oh, oh, the French is winning. Oh, my God, girl. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? French or marble? French, marble, French. Come on, French. Come on, French. Do it, do it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I swear to God, y'all been. Where the fuck you guys been at when I asked you guys to vote? So, French wins. Wow. Wow. I can't believe y'all. All right. French wins. Wow, I didn't even realize how many peeps in the room tonight. And it's like, where y'all motherfuckers been at this whole time when I ask when I ask for um for voting. Alright, stay right there. I struggle to do French, so I voted for it because like I said the other day. I am practicing my weaknesses, as we all should, okay? If you guys are not good at something, force yourself to do it more. So if you're not good at the chupi chupi, then do it more. If you're not good at French, do it more. If you're not good at cooking, do it more, bitch. That's the only way you're going to get better. And especially with this opposite hand, girl, I got to keep practicing it because it's like a love and hate relationship with Frenchies. Like, I hate them only because I can't do them. And now I'm understanding why I have haters, you know, because they want to be like me. Uh, <laughs> they want my personality is what they want. 
But honey, you can't have it. You'll be like, no says mamona, Sule, no says mamona, amiga. No says mamila. Damn, it's trying. You drying too fast for me, Dusty Bros. Zule, hey. Nah, but for real, since I was in fucking middle school, I had little haters. And I was like, why? I'm, um, I don't even got shit. Or more like high school, I want to say. I'm like, honey, I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing. Why you hate on me? Yeah, this color is Dusty Rose. It's slightly tinted from the monomer, but it still looks the same. Hola, amiguita. Hola, bienvenidas. So my French came out pretty good. Because you had what they didn't. Shit. I don't know what I had. Probably just the funny attitude or something. Because I didn't have nothing. I didn't have a boyfriend. I didn't have the best sneakers. I didn't have shit. Hey, Zule. Hey. Okay, there you go, Frenchie. We'll fix you in a little bit. Ooh, yes, candles are nice. Talking about candles, somebody was going to send me one. Your beautiful personality and heart. Uh -huh. Well, when I was in ninth grade, I didn't have a nice heart. I don't think I did. I was a little bully. I think I was an ugly person in high school, to be honest. Like, ninth grade, I was a bad girl. Nah, I was not a bad person. I just pretended to be bad. But I was like a little clown. All right, let me just... Make my nail a little thicker right there so that when I file, I can grab it. Hey, babe, from Albania. Hey, marble French. Okay. All right, let me just clean my monomer really fast. How did you meet your honey? We went to, I mean, we worked together in, in, um, at Jack in a Box, that's where we met each other. I tell him that that if we would have met in high school, we would not been a thing. I would have probably bullied him. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I wasn't a bully, but I was at the same time. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to. Pour some bottom right here without making a mess. And that's how you do it. And that's how you do it. <laughs> I'm using everything that I'm using right now is available on my website. The link is on the bio if you guys want to check it out. These are the 3XL coffin nail tips. I did not cut anything. The colors that I am using is Black Hole, Covered Dusty Rose, which is the nude one, and Buchona Vibes is the nude one. Okay, let me close these real quick. Just, like, put the lid on before I, like, spill. Okay, guys, let's get to encapsulating. Alrighty. I'm going to start with my pinky nail. I 
Ahí viene la buchona. So, yeah, let's see. What else can we talk about? You guys want to... You spilled it everywhere? Girl, I always spill my monomer everywhere. Like at the salon, I always spill shit. Do you guys have any more questions so that I can answer while I encapsulate? Is like glued and I can open it. If you have the old bottle that is, I mean, if get glue on the rim, it's going to get stuck. So try to not get it in the rim or closing it all the way. But the glue, the new, the new plastic one is so much easier to open. So if you have the old bottle, I recommend to get the new one. You like it better. It's a lot lighter. It's fully plastic. So you can twist it and it'll open it'll open faster can we talk about how people call ay perate. hold on Janie it moved it, can you comment it again it moved so fast hold on let me go look for your comment a ver a ver where are you? Can we talk about how people call you when you're on a live? <laughs> like, like, ma'am, stop calling. We trying to watch Zule's live. How long did it take me to get good? Um, I'm going to say, well, what I considered good at the time was maybe like, um two years i felt like my work was pretty good at two years but because i was um mostly not self-taught because i went to school for it but at at school they don't really teach you what you really want to learn i feel like everything else i learned on my own and some classes that i took I feel like after taking more courses, I got better. So, el, ¿cómo se dice? El glitter no tiene número. Se llama Buchona Vibes. Ahorita te lo enseño. Es nuevo. Se llama Buchona Vibes. I promise I get so excited when I see your live. Aww. That, see, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, girlfriend. I'm just going to go to school for the paperwork to have to open up my own business. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. Right, let me check. My nail is pretty smooth. Will you ever restock the 45 acrylic? It's there. It should be available. It should be available. We have it in stock. If we don't, send me a text message so I can check that out. It should be available. It's there. What do you recommend? Oh, que la verga. Do you take credit cards on the website? Yes, we do. From, from what I know... Most credit cards work on there. I've never tried purchasing with a credit card on myself. It says out of stock for real. Okay, I'll have my husband switch it. It should be in stock. Do you make your own colors? Um, I don't make them all, but we do try to, like I, I've been playing Little Chemist since I started doing nails. So I have some practice. I do make some of the colors myself, but I can't make them all myself because I don't got time. Do you have a red glitter acrylic on your tiendita? Yes. The one that I have on my nails right now is actually 
um, a bright red. It's called Putona. Putona Red, this one. <laughs> it's called Putona Red. How long have you and your husband been married? We've been married for... It's going to be... Um, six years in July. I mean, July, August, November. Do you recommend buying cheap? What? Hold on. Let me read this comment because it says something about a brush. Do you recommend buying cheap Kalinsky brushes and making, investing in a really expensive brush? Um, there's no such thing as a cheap Kalinsky brush. Um, if it's cheap, it is not Kalinsky. So definitely invest in a good brush. Let me tell you, Kalinsky hair brushes are going to be hard to find in the future, I feel, because the animal that they use for the brushes is, I heard, um, it's, como se dice, illegal or something for them to hunt them now. So they've become way more expensive. They became way more expensive. Since quarantine started, I want to say they have quadrupled in price. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's why I tell people to take care of their brushes because your brush should be lasting you a long time. Okay, make sure to not let it get hard with acrylic. Clean your brushes after every nail set that you do. And if for whatever reason you do happen to kind of leave some acrylic, just dip it in your monomer and um, it will loosen up. ¿Cuánto puede costar una brocha Kolinsky más barata? Mm, yo te voy a decir que a lo mejor unos 25 dólares. La más barata, yo creo que eso viene costando como unos 25 dólares. Hold on. Hoy en día. Y esa es como una número 8. Hold on, guys. Tengo que hacer mi aplicación en la uña porque se me seca rápido el pinche acrílico, mamón. Hey, tía from Texas. Hi, girl. My son looked the scissors and cut my expensive brush. Oh, hell no. Girl, did you whoop his ass? Oh, shit. Where'd that glitter come from? Mm-mm-mm. I mean, I don't condone violence, but I would have fucking spank the shit out of that child at least once like hijo de tu puta madre ven pa acá pendejo vas a ver why do you put monomer on your nail before oh because i don't want bubbles so because the nail is black if i do get bubbles on the nail it'll be way more noticeable so you want to try to apply more wet. That's why you guys see the, the bead kind of trying to run away from me. Um, because if you guys apply too dry, you will get the little bubbles. And this acrylic dries fast as fuck. So I'm trying to avoid it. I mean, even if I do get bubbles on this nail, it's going to get covered anyway, but still. How do you get better at your right hand if you struggle with it? Just practice. That's the only way. The only way to get better at anything is with practice. I know people expect like a secret, but there's no secret. There's no secret, nothing. It's just in the practice. With everything in life, you want to get better at your at your anything. Practice it. The more you do it, the better you get. It's like riding a bike or learning an instrument. You know.
There is no shortcuts. What's Zule? What's Abutona? Um, Abutona, I want to say, is like a badass bitch. Narco related, low key. I'm in love with you. Fuck, fuck, shulation. <laughs> Skill doing it on yourself. Fuck, shulation. Oh my god, I feel like a little kid with my nail stuff not sharing and I felt like I died. Oh, you know. My son, I mean, he never did that to me. I don't remember. But he used to steal my buffers when he was little. Oh, so cute. Like, I didn't really have, back then, I didn't really have extra buffer blocks. So, I would just have, like, that one buffer or two when I would do my nails at home. And then I would find him on his, using them on his fucking trains. Like, he would put rubber bands on them, so he'd kind of, like, squish them. Like, in, make little indentations. So, I was like, what the fuck? Where the hell are my buffers? And then I would see him, like, playing with his train, like, chee -chee, whatever they were, his little cargoes. I was like, oh, my God. But he never fucked anything else up, just the buffer. So I already knew Patrick's. And he used to steal my little diamonds, too. Like, if he saw little blings, he would keep them. He had a little treasure chest of my little diamonds that I would flick off my nails. I'm going to add a little bit more here. Oh, uh, you can't get... No, I, I wouldn't get mad at him for that. But I just remember right now. I'm like, oh, Patrick, you so steal my buffer. So cute. And because I like shiny shit, he would like shiny stuff too. He'd be like... He'd like Diamonds. Diamonds. Sabia que la buchona would come out if he did touch. <laughs> For real. Be like, Amma, yo no fui. Amma. Yeah, I used to be a little scary. Patrick used to call me the, the Punisher. That was my nickname when he was in elementary. How long do your rhinestones stay on until I take them off? For the most part, very rarely I will lose a crystal. I mean, here and there I will lose one, not gonna lie. It happens. Um, but for the most part, until I take them off. What color? The gold one is called Buchona Vibes. Buchona. Like butt. Butch. But Chona for my non English speakers, I mean non Spanish speakers, but but Chona. My son said, My it's just a brush, <laughs> go rip his favorite toy. Be like, It's just your favorite toy. That's what I tell Patrick that I'm gonna do to him when he like messes something up. I'm like, Oh, he oh, shit. I was telling this girl under the comments, I never had a stone come off with your glue. She was, she was what? She was doing what? Ah, fuck. What the fuck did I do? She was doing reviews on different glues, talking about it. Don't work. Like, honey, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, like I said, too, I always tell people, like, sometimes... I mean, what I use doesn't work for others, but I feel like some people just don't know how to use certain things um, because, girl, obviously a lot of people use the glue and it works. So if it's not working for you, if you guys ever use my glue and it doesn't work, most of the time, nine out of ten, it's the crystals you're using that fall off through the top. So if you guys ever have a little silver backing that doesn't mean that the glue didn't work, okay? Because I get that a lot in my inboxes where they're like, Zule, what am I doing wrong? And, da, 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 da. and then I ask them, can you show me what it looks like, what your nail looks like? And then it will have like the little silver stuff. 
And so I had to um, educate them on that, right? Because a lot of us don't know. So I always try to explain to people and then be like, oh, okay, thank you. So if you guys ever have the little silver on your nail, that means the crystal was, um, I mean, the glue did its job, right? Just the top part of the crystal came off. I was, hmm? I was going to say probably because they were using cheap quality. Yeah, some of the lower quality crystals will definitely do that. But also like if the crystal is like super stuck, Y te metes un putazo, pues obvio que se va a caer lo de arriba. You know, I'd rather the crystal fall off than my nail break. She, any day. But yeah, but there's people out there that they just wants to bad review me for no reason. The glue girl don't let me tell you my story. <laughs> tell us your story. Tell us your story, girl. What happened? What happened to you? My nail just snapped in half on Tuesday. I closed the drawer. Oh, hell nah. Where'd you get your brush? The brush is from my website. The link is on my bio. ¿Dónde estudié? Yo estudié aquí en California, pero la verdad que no aprendí mucho. De la escuela, eh. Yo aprendí poco a poquito solita. So, déjenme les explico. Ladies and gentlemen, the school you go to for your license is not that important, okay? They all teach the same shit. I should have known better. All of the late products are... Reasonably price and the quality that you get won't be disappointed. And if you are disappointed with my products, girl, why? Why, honey? Why? I teach you. I teach you how to use, okay? Nah, but everybody got their opinion. You're allowed to your opinion. Excuse me. They're going to be like, no, it's because... It's because it's stuck. Like, the one thing that I have seen a lot of people, like, complain about my glue or whatever. Like, oh, my God. This girl told me, like, she gave me, like, a whole fucking email how it was a waste of money because she only got to use it once and I don't know what and things like that. And I was like, well, how long did you have it for? Like, she had used it, like, in once or twice in one year. And it had already, like, got stuck. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Broke. That's what I get for talking shit over here. Um, she was saying that she only got to use it twice, but um, glue gets stuck if you like are messy. So no matter if you use my glue or me a secret glue or whatever the fuck glue, if you get it on the rim and it's like really strong glue, it's gonna get stuck. So I, that's just what I've been trying to educate people on. Like, don't close it all the way. And if you are, clean the rim. Clean it. Because even nail polish will get stuck. If it's all over the rim. You know? But other than that, everybody loves it. May I ask any tips on how to do better with your non-dominant hand? Um, We were actually just talking about this. Um, what worked for me to get better is just doing it often. I've been doing my nails for a, um, for a few years already. So it's gotten better. But recently I've been doing my nails even more frequent. So I feel like that's how I've gotten better. So just practice, practice. Some people even put a little bit of cuticle oil on the rim. But with the new bottle that we have, that is not necessary. It opens up pretty darn easy. So we shall have no more complaints. Okay, let's see this finger. Is it easy for you to file them? Um, 
I struggle to do everything on my other hand, but it's getting better. Um, let's see. I ate flautas. We, oh, no, not the nude. I already have the nude. Let's see. I think I'm just going to do it black with a little bit of gold. These, the stiletto nails, they're, they were square. I just shaped them into stiletto. But I do have some long nail coming. What's the most satisfying part of doing nails? Your nails? Um, my favorite part is decorating them. Like if I could just skip to decorating my nails, it would be bomb. But I also really enjoy... How the fuck did I get acrylic on here? I really, really, really enjoy um, the application as well. I love the application. But not on my opposite hand. It, it stresses me out. Loki. If I wasn't on live, I would have already been like, fuck this stupid hand. Fuck this stupid hand. Yeah, we're gonna do black a lot, a lot, a lot of black. I'm telling you, we are all gonna love this black. This black hole. <clears throat> How do you do it when you get cramps on your hands? I just kind of like go like that. But I don't really get that many cramps, thank God. Let me... Keisha, I'll do the tip marble. I just wanted to do a little bit of black um, so that I can, if I do put some nude, um, it doesn't like camouflage with the fringe. Is smoking? Um, I feel like I get more cramps on my hands when my nails are long. Really? Actually, I get cramped sometimes when I'm doing my nails. Oh, shit. What the hell did I put? What is that? Oh, it's like plastic. But I feel like I get the cramps when I'm filing. So I'll let you know when I file. When I'm filing the nail. What made you open your business? Um, which one? Like my nail business or my product? Well, anyway, they were both by, by, I'm not going to say by accident, but something like that. So I started doing nails because I got the idea to kind of start doing nails because I got like pushed by my family and friends whenever i would go places they'd be like oh my god where you get your nails in oh my god da, 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 da. do you do it on other people da, 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 da. and then i was like no i don't do it on other people i never thought i would do it on other people and then boom um i started to take some clients which was scary and then a few years into i want to say let's see i've already it's going on six years that i've had my online store so i guess two years Two years into me doing nails, or two and a half, um, I decided to sell some of my extra supplies. So before, so that this is how my online store got started. Okay, it was literally kind of by accident, not accident. 
I used to buy Swarovski crystals by the, um, what is it called? By the box, like the factory packs or by the bag. And then I would sell them on Snapchat. Like, I, let's just say I was like, okay, I'm, if the bag has, I don't fucking know, like 200. I was like, okay, I'm going to keep 12 or 24 or something in between, you know, like a few, but not too many because I just wanted to have variety and then I'll sell the rest. So I will go on Snapchat and if you guys are OG like that, you probably bought some from me. And so it started to get a little cray cray on Snapchat because I couldn't keep track of who plays what and whose address was what and shit like that. So then that's when I opened my online store so that they can buy from there. And then little by little, I started adding other things like files or things that were my favorites. And that's where my store got started because people from other states would be like, oh my God, where did you buy that? Like, for example, I don't fucking remember, like a brush or something or a nail art piece. And obviously, they were not going to come all the way to L.A. just to buy that one thing. So, it was easier for me just to buy it and sell it to them. Never did I ever imagine it would turn into this. But I'm very grateful that it did. So, if you guys have any little ideas, even if you make no money, do it. Because, girl, let me tell you, I didn't really profit off of that. I just did it because it was kind of, it was fun to me to like do something extra on my day off. And because I wanted to have a writing, like I said, that was one of the main reasons as to why I started that, like my little store thing. I'll probably put some bling there. So it's like whatever. So more of the story, more of the story, don't do things for the money, okay? Because if you do things for money, you will give up. You will give up quick. The money will come later if you work hard. If you work hard, you put in your all these hours and all of that, you know, the money will follow. I hate when people be like, I'm going to become, I'm going to become a nail tech because I want to make so much money or I want to sell tacos because they be making money or I want to be a lash lady because they make so like, bitch, do it because you love it. That's the goal. Do it because you love it. Not because you want to get rich because it, a lot of people don't see the big the big picture, the whole struggles that people go through, all they see is the success. Like, no, ma'am, it's not easy to do eyelashes. Well, I don't know. I don't fucking do them, but I'm sure it takes a lot of practice to get those little lashes to be perfect. Your eyes hurt and all that shit. What if there's nothing? What? nothing you love well that is why you need you need to try different things so you can find what you love to do um i feel like finding your passion is kind of hard to be honest i i don't want to say that i love nails i do like them i like how they make me feel like they make me feel sexy and beautiful. And I like to make other people feel good. So I know that I like that part. But I feel like I like the cheese men more than I like the nails. So I think that's why being a nail tick is good for me. But is it easy? Fuck no. Dealing with people is not fucking easy. So maybe... You guys are extra special in a different way, you know, like you could be um 
Maybe you're good at sales. Maybe you're good at, I don't know. There's a lot of things out there we just don't think of. Just think. That's your homework. What are you good at? And most times, the things you're good at is things you like. You know? Si eres buena de puta, pues andale, amiga. Abrete el OnlyFans. You know what? Me hace falta poquito negro aquí. I'm good on sale. Doing nails is therapy for me. I wouldn't know how to act. You need to love this. It shows in your work. Yes, to do them for myself, I love it. I hate sitting for hours. Yeah, um, these nails are dang cute. Thank you. Like, I like doing it on other people too, but little by little, I feel like it's not something that I want to do for others. Like, I hate going to work now. I think it's the drive, but... I'd rather be here, chismeando. I feel like I tell you guys that all the time. You're be like, Zule, just quit. Just quit and do nails. Do your nails every day. <laughs> I'm good at doing chupi chupi. ¿Qué me aconsejas? Ah, pues si te gusta el chupi chupi, amiga, pues abre, ya te dije que abre la zona OnlyFans. Y ahí le chupi chupi al de plástico y te ganas dinero. Y luego me das porcentaje por darte la idea. I take eight hours to do myself. Girl, if I did both hands, I would also take eight hours. But because this length is hella long, if they were shorter, I'm sure they would go faster. Let's see. ¿Qué dijiste, Porsche? ¿Qué dijiste, amiga? Sometimes it's not something physical either. It could be that you're good at speaking or marketing. Yes, that is so true. I feel like I have a lot of good ideas. I have a lot of good ideas. I'm very good with people. So if I were to ever stop doing nails, I have backup, girl. I know how to sell things, obviously. I sell myself. And just kidding. All I heard was choopy choopy. She has um selective hearing, guys. She has selective hearing. I like to make people smile. I like to make people feel good. And I like to cheese me out. That's gonna be on my next resume. Good point, Portia. Mm -hmm. You got to be a people person in this in industry. Actually, I had a student a few years back who was not a people person at all. And I was like, how is this girl going to even get clients if she doesn't like to talk to people? She told me straight up, I do not like to talk to people. She just wanted to do nails for the money. She told me straight up and I was like, okay. And then I realized, I was like, you know what? I'm wrong. There's a client for everyone. So, I mean, even if she just was doing nails for, for the money, if she gets good, there's clients who don't want to talk. They're just there to get their nails done. You know, so I was like, okay, yeah. I mean, what is if you good, then go for it. But it's going to be a little hard to find customers if if you don't talk to them. Pero pues. There is people actually who do not like to talk. But if you got attitude and shit, mm -mm, ain't nobody going to want you. I feel like my clients need to fucking talk. That should just be a thing. If you're going to come sit in my chair, bitch, you better fucking talk. Because if you don't, it's going to be weird. At least talk to me for like one or two hours. And then the other one, you can be on your phone. Um. Yes, I have done duck nails when I started to do nails and I hate them. 
But the one thing that I cannot tolerate. Oh, my God. Look at I have a little dip in there. I need to make a little. The one thing that I don't like is when people have their fucking face. Like, why you have your fucking resting bitch face? Like, what did I do to you? Nothing. So take it away. Look friendly, please. What the hell, you lumpy ass nail? Oh my God, I missed what you said, Stephanie. Can you say it again? For that, go get your nails done. I love Los Chinitos. I actually want to try duck nails. Oh my God, Lori. No, no, no. I think I just need to shave this right here. Johnny Canales, take it away. <laughs> Can you do both hands on yourself? Yes. I have resting bitch face ever from it my whole life. It's nothing personal. Oh, well, okay. Not, okay. That's not what I meant then. You can have a resting bitch face, but like, you know what I mean though, right, Portia? Like when they're making that fucking face, like there's something wrong with them. Like they're mad at you and shit. Like, what the hell did I do? Like. I had a client that was like that. She would not fucking talk to me. She would act like she was mad. And I was like, like, what the hell? Like, you could feel the vibe, too, was not there. But I'm really nice. And when I start talking, I can't stop. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't really get that a lot. But I did get it a while back. And I was like, nah, honey, if you're not going to be talking to me at least answering my questions right then nah honey mm -mm. you can be my client yeah so i guess energy the energy if the energy is not good nope you are not coming again bye bye these are looking so cute my index finger be looking a little funky so don't stare at that one we gonna fix you right up right now girlfriend let me get my file. I can feel the energy though. I can, I can too. I have like a sixth sense. It's like, honey, do not lie to me. I could tell you're a little hater. Do not lie to me. Hold on, guys. Hold on. So these are my nails at the moment. Zule, please do some long curve nails soon. Oh, you've been missing those? Um, Curved? I don't think I have done curved. It's because curved is not in, girl. Girlfriend. But for you, I... Oh, for Halloween, that would be good, huh? Little hater, uh-huh. Like, I fucking hate when people try to act nice to me, like, in person. But I could I could tell you don't like me. Like, girl, the only dumbass in the room is you. I'm not talking to none of you guys, though. But, like, have you guys ever felt that? <laughs> like, bitch, I feel your little, little negativity, honey. You trying to fucking be nice to me. Like, get the fuck out of here, Felicia. Felicia, bye. I hate that shit. Like, go be fake somewhere else, please. You're the type of nail tech I want to chase me out with. Well, welcome to the club. Let's take a walk, Felicia. <laughs> Anything that's hard to do is worth learning, especially if you do, if you're passionate about it. Definitely. Let's talk. Let's walk our fish. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. I personally don't like curved nails. 
I have one client that requests them. I'll do them on her. It's cool. She, her shape actually looks nice, but um, yeah, it's really hard to shape curved nails. A ver, ¿qué dijeron? ¿Qué dijeron? Zule, you'll be making my boyfriend laugh when I'm watching your lives. You're so funny. Ah, peachy. We tell him that we said if we've been making him laugh, he better buy something for from my store for you. Because this is not a free show. Or to start tapping. Tap, tap, tap. Right? Who want to be mad while getting your nails done? That's weird. For real. Like, it's a happy place. It's supposed to be a happy place. Yelp and file the top two. Yelp. Walkie walkie like I talkie. Oh, Tay Dame, I've been here for an hour and 30 minutes already. Wow. Hello, Brittany. Zule, how has your stomach been? It's been good. Thank you for asking. I think I'm becoming lactose, guys. That's what I think. My son heard Zule one day and said they let her curse on there. That's fire. <laughs> That's funny. Good night, Nancy. Did you put did you go to school or are you self-taught? I went to school. I am a licensed nail tech. I also took extra classes after getting my license. So I have learned from a, a few different people. And then I've taught myself as I go. Sorry, but how do you work at a job? I'm sorry, user 6311694. I don't have a job. I'm a boss, bitch. I'm a boss ass, bitch, bitch, bitch. So you see this name right here? This is my name. I don't need a normal job when I'm a boss, okay? And <laughs> I'm a nail tech. I do nail. I do nail for you. I'm, I'm super talented, okay? So that's another reason why I'm, I got motivated to tell them jefita. Yeah, that, that's another reason, though, now that we're in that topic, that I pushed my brand to what it is now. Because I felt like not a lot of people get to express themselves like I do. Like, some people be like, oh, my God, you're so unprofessional or whatever. I'm not going to support you. I'm going to follow you. I don't want to get my nails done with you because you're unprofessional. But it's like, bitch, first of all, I don't work at corporate. Okay, I, I, this is me. This is what you're going to get at your nail appointment or whatever the fuck, you know? Or like a brand. I never wanted a brand to ever turn me down because um, I'm ghetto or whatever. Which I don't think I'm ghetto. But I was like, no, no. If I'm not going to be accepted somewhere, I'll create it myself. So, um... I, I got a lot of people tell me shit in the beginning. Like, oh my God, you're ghetto. You shouldn't be saying bad words. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. So I was like, you know what? Let me prove you wrong, bitch. Let me prove you as wrong that saying bad words and being ghetto or whatever don't mean shit. I am very professional when it comes to work. Like, there's other bitches that don't say bad words but are so unprofessional. They flake on their clients. They never show up. They rather party. They do all kinds of shit. So I'm like, uh-uh. So weird to tell you what to do with your brand. Like, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, no, honey. I, I'm i going to fucking... Oh, I... Okay, so let me tell you guys a story. I don't know if I told it to you guys before. But there was this girl... She was trying to book a nail appointment. So back then when I used to be full time, I, well, I still get booked pretty fast. But before I had more openings, right? So I would have a specific booking date. Let, uh, let's pretend it's in the beginning of the month. And that was the only time you could book appointments. 
so then she was like oh i want to make an appointment and then i was like oh booking day is x x day it was like a few days away so then she texts me like two days after booking day and she goes like oh yeah i wanted to book an appointment for da 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 month and then I told her, I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't have any more appointments. Booking day was X day and everything's taken. So then she was like, wow, I am not about to wait another month to book an appointment. I'm going to give you a better review. I'm going to give you a better review on Yelp. And I was like, the fuck? Why the fuck are you going to give me a better review? I haven't even serviced your ass. You know, I didn't tell her that, but I wanted to. So then I told her, I'm like, I'm sorry, but that is totally unfair. I haven't even serviced you for you to give me a review. And then she was pretty much acting like you better give me a fucking appointment or I'm going to tell the manager. So then my dumbass goes on Snapchat because back then Snapchat was a thing. And I made myself a filter where I was like role playing the skit. And then I, the manager face was like, let me call the manager. And then I put a filter that had like bling eyebrows and a little bling piercing and pink hair. And I'm like, I am the manager. I'm the CEO, the CFO, whatever you want. Like, bitch, the fuck? You are talking to her. Like, you're not going to fucking get in your way, you fucking bitch. Especially with that fucking attitude. Hell nah. So I was like, uh-uh. If she already acting like this, imagine on a nail appointment what she's going to be like. Hell no. So I told her nicely, okay, well, I'll put you on a waiting list. And I blocked her. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh. Yelp has too much effect on a business, too. It's crazy. Thankfully, it has not affected me. I always, how to call it, um, for the most part, I have pretty good reviews on Yelp. But I never go based on reviews when I go anywhere. Like, fuck Yelp. I do not look at that shit because I guess because I'm a business owner, I know that people are more likely to review when they're mad. So happy people don't really tend to review. It's rare that you find somebody who actually takes the time to leave a review. So I don't do that. Yeah. And then Yelp, they play with you. One of my clients used to tell me that she would pay for like um, them to put her, her listing first. And I don't know what. So it's all business there. I even got an email saying like, oh, we could remove your bad review. I'm like, no, you can leave it there. It's okay. It's okay, honey. Girl, I was about to order the glue for 35 cookies. Then I went to order and it said 59 cookies. Oh, you must be from out of the country, huh? Where are you from? If you are from out of the country, the shipping is kind of crazy. But I'm sorry, it's not up to me. Yeah, if you guys live like in Canada or obviously, oh yeah, Canada, babe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's best if you order multiple glues so that you don't, or multiple items so the shipping is worth it. Because international shipping be no joke. I am, oh wait, you're not asking me. Janie, you are asking her. Yeah, you could even sell it to other people, other Canadians out there. Be like, you guys want to buy Zule glue? And then you could charge it for 20 cookies or something. Is It'll be cheaper for them to buy it off you than to buy it with shipping. You could start a whole business out there, girl. Selling Zule products. Why did you change the bling bottle to plastic? So I decided to change it because I felt that the plastic bottle would be a lot easier to open. And before I did, I tested it and it worked great. 
So I tested it for a while and I was like, you know what? I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do the, the swap. And then also because the shipping will be so much cheaper for the bottles, for people who buy a lot of them, um, since they do kind of go by weight, it will be less shipping cost, you know? So I think about you guys. You do have good ideas. You're a true entrepreneur, but it's in our Hispanic blood. Yeah, I do. If you guys have a question, shit, I'll give you an idea free for you right now, okay? Just tap the screen. Me le le what? Mas leve leverage? No. Ah, okay. Oh my god, I missed. Thank you. Name of the bit. This one is the pear shape bit. I totally forgot that I had this fucking bit, guys. I've been over here just using the other one. When this one, so this one, what I like about it, not only is it soft, but like. It's smooth, very smooth. The other one, the extra fine bit is one of my favorites too for a long time. But this one pushes like your cuticle at the same time. So like um, you could get in there. The other one is much bigger. So you kind of struggle to get in the little crevice. So see how I got in there, in there. I, I realized that I had it the other day when I was looking for another bit. I was like, girl, girlfriend. Oh, yeah, I'm doing my nails right now, and I'm using the same bit, right? Isn't it like the BFF? I've been using it on my clients, and mm-hmm. Like, I struggle to file my cuticles with my right hand. Well, I struggle to do everything with my right hand, pero pues... Yo me las quiero hacer largas, pero no me animo. Anímate, Shirley. I was at the Croc store and say a pacifier with, I thought of you, broth, chupi chupi. Ah? Huh? What, Marta? Um, this, the glitter is called Buchona Vibes. Are you ordering the pizza? Mm -hmm. Woo! I don't see. I'm going to file this one like this because I can do it the other way. Yeah, if you guys live in California, you guys get them faster. Um, I'm wearing the 3XL coffin nails. Zule, be on the lookout for your package. Ooh, yeah. Friday deal. And I had different price boxes. So I have a little thing of acrylic here. I had, I think the cheapest one was 50 cookies and it went up to 500 or maybe a thousand cookies. I don't fucking remember. Um, so that's what she's talking about. How many cookies are the scoops and the jail? Well, the scoops vary. They're not available right now. I know, and I missed it. I want this year. Right now, it's 9.07 where I'm at. You should think about monthly boxes. That would be chef's kiss. Well, I want to say that our scoops are kind of like if they were mysteries, but live. So that's when you get a good deal on the scoops. You get, we well, have a chance to get a great deal. Not everybody gets extra lucky but for the most part it's a good price 
So you have nail tips. Yes, Ashley, we have nail tips. We have brushes. We have files. We have gel, acrylic, bling, whatever you like. Scoops are mystery. Yeah. So the difference between a scoop and a mystery box would be that you get to see it on live if you're on there versus a mystery box is like you have to wait until you get it, you know? Yeah, in the future, I'd probably do the mystery boxes instead of doing scoops because um, I feel like when I do scoops, we work twice as hard in a way because we have to, well, I we do them live, like we live scoop them, then we have to package them. Well, not package them, package them, but we stick them in a bag, like in what your mailer would be or a box, and then we have to go ahead and take that out of the bag and then properly package them so that they get to you nice and beautiful so then we work extra hard versus if we did mystery boxes when we did them we pre pre prepped the mystery boxes and as the order came in we just shipped the box and it'd be random it'd be like random so even if I like you, I wouldn't know what you're getting. But they're they were really good. Shipping is fast as hell too. We try, we try. Yeah, so you save more in mystery boxes because I think that 50 cookie one, I had it for 75 cookies. And if you got the 100 cookie one, you got like 150 cookies or things like that. Zule, what is the brush name for the 3D sculpting gel? What brush? I normally just use my my um dotting tool. Oh, the brush that I've been using lately is just a gel brush. I can't wait for my mug, Zule. I'm going to drink tea in it every day. Yeah, Portia. I haven't shipped your order yet because I'm... I'm trying to find your other order so I could ship it together. So you could just have one big box. Have you figured out what you're going to put on your shirts? Um, no, I've actually been thinking about it for sure. Um, I had a sample shirt done years ago before COVID that said antes muerta que sin uñas. For sure, I want to do something like that. And then on all shirts that I do do, like design or quote or whatever, obviously it's going to have my logo on it so that you guys can represent. But I'm still thinking I always, I can't have too many different designs because it always costs to do the graphics for each design. So, como que no cago dinero tampoco. Sylvia, my, I'm not sure if my hubby shipped yours. I'm going to have to ask him. I only know about Portia because he handed it to me. He remembered Portia because of the gummy bear. Zule cartel. I think yours might have, may have um, shipped, but I'm not sure. Because he was doing, he does more of the shipping than I do. Yo nada más me hago pendeja. And just kidding. Kidding, not kidding. All right. Since I do have black, I'm going to go in with my smoother buffer to remove majority of my scratches. Because when you have dark colors, the scratches are very noticeable. Zule, do a pull for Chupi Chupi Queen shirts. Zule put buchonas only for merch. Y'all will not fucking wear the fucking chupi chupi queen ones. I already know you guys. Oh, so I the first buffer that I use is the 100 by 100. And then right now I'm using the 180 by 240. So the reason why I'm using two buffers 
is because I didn't use my electric file to remove the scratches this time. Bushonas only. No, we want to lace nails, big cartel. Damn, the whole website, huh? I'm about to put it in the back. <laughs> yes, yeah, like that should be your slogan on one of the shirts. What? What should be my slogan? Chupi chupi? Freestyle chupi chupi only. I'll wear anything. Ay, desgraciadas. Sinvergüenzas. Puras amigas sinvergüenzas tengo, ¿verdad? No, on the shirts. I would for sure wear the shirt because I'm so damn silly. For real, I include the website too. Do you guys still have the gel nails? Yes, we do. Antes muerta que si Nunez. Like, hey, girlfriend. I'm going to do one that says, it ain't no flitter. Ooh. I would wear the chupi chupi one just to see people's reactions. Fuck, for real, Zule. I hadn't received my scoop order. Janet, they are on their way. You need your best set on a shirt. Do you see yourself with shorter nails ever? Um, Maybe a tad bit shorter like before. Put Zule nail big cartel on the sleeve of the jackets or at the bottom of the shirt. Huh. On the little sleeve in the little corner. With a cookie design. That's funny. Huh? I should make one with just a cookie. Portia, do you know how to do? I know you're a very talented girl, but like um would you be able to help me with my with my t-shirt design? You should add that as a as an option to your graphics. Chupi chupi, give me cookies. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put big bling. Okay, let me go wash my hands really fast. Portia, don't answer yet until I come back. Cookie monster theme nails. Oh my God, that would be cool. so cute. Portia, I need your services. We're becoming very serious here now about these shirts. Oh shit. They'll be exclusive in your in your hold on, let me wash my hands before I finish talking. Let me walk away. And wear a diamond. I ain't wearing no cookie. I'll wear a diamond. I ain't wearing no cookie. I'll wear a cookie. We lay with a big diamond on the hoodie. Alright, so this is what they're looking like. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. I just googled what chupi chupi. Not me answering you like you can hear me. But I probably definitely can help you with the design. Okay, Parsha. Send me my invoice. Go add it to your website so I could check out. You need, hopefully, get them before the pop up. Do they need, hopefully? <laughs> girl, girl. We need to get this design first so Portia get to it. Nah. Be like, everybody, we're going to start pressuring Portia to get to her graphic designing so I could go send it to somebody who prints. Alright, let me drink some coffee. <clears throat> um, Portia does a lot of things. She is multi-talented young lady. She does graphic designing. She does press-ons. She do everything, okay? 
Yeah, I'm going to do flowers. I'm just trying to decide if I should just do them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know what I'm going to do. The French looks fire. Don't cover it. I'm not going to cover the French. I promise. I'm going to put the black on here. The flowers. Ooh, thank you for the flores. I'm about to make some running. All right. She's going to cover it. <laughs> we all go over this once a week. No, no, no. Don't pressure me, Paige. I've never done it before, but I will see for Zule. Like a pretty text that says, Antes Marta que se Nunez, or like a cookie or something. It doesn't have to be too crazy, just like pretty font. Paige, don't pressure her because she's going to leave. Damn, so it's going to be hard for you guys to see the flowers because they're black on black. Um, I'll start brainstorming. Okay. But this is a pain job, Portia. This is not for fun. Some flitter, would you like some flitter? Do you like flitter? I thought you were doing pumpkins. No, not to this hand, to the other hand. I'm gonna do pumpkins to my right hand on Thursday. Oh wait, tomorrow's Thursday. On f Friday. Why not white flowers or red? Um, Because this is what I have in my brain. Just my only color palette of the day is going to be gold, nude, and black. I will save the red flowers for a different day. Trust me, y'all gonna be like, we can't even see them, Zule, but wait, wait. Trust, trust the process. Okay. Puedo ver tus uñas, girl, please? Sí, espérate, amiga, que se me seca el pinche pétalo a la verga aquí. Y pues luego. Uy, 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 uy. Are those C-curved coffin? No, they're not C-curved. No c curve. All right, hopefully you guys can see good. Please offer a bralette, all I wear. Algo más? Sule, they're saying no cookies. Okay, fine. Damn, la Stacy quiere venir toda pechugona. Toda pechugona la amiga al 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 pinche pop up. No te va a dejar el novio salir así. Um, Zule, siempre me desvelas. Love watching your life. <laughs> Carolina, pero no lo digas así, amiga, que nos vamos a divertir. Desvelada me voy al trabajo mañana. Do anyone else have ideas? I like Buchonas only. Everyone leave their name ideas. Okay, guys, drop down in the comments, but real, real suggestions, please. Um, What would you like to see on a Zule shirt? Mm-hmm. 
This filling is bomb. Damn, ¿dónde va a ser tu pop-up? Va a ser en... Um, yo creo que va a ser en... En... ¿Cómo se llama? En Pico Rivera. No estoy muy segura todavía, pero yo creo que sí. I put a nail on you. <laughs> That's cute. Paige, why do you not want to have a cookie on you? Or what if we put a tamal? Ya regresé, amiguita. Okay, at the end, do a poll. What do you want me to do a poll for? For the design? <clears throat> All right, let me see if I... Are you guys able to tell the the petal apart from the nail? To see who would want the chupi oh the chupi chupi on the shirts. Ah Yes, it looks good. Way to London. Y'all gonna be like, oh my god, I want that too. Can't do anything food related because what? Fuck, it moved. You need to narrow it down to two designs and have a poll on IG. Yeah, I can't have too many designs because I'm not loaded like that. Women don't do well with too many ideas. Zule Nation, a curling name. <laughs> You're a hilarious, Paige. You are funny, honey. I'm going to do my flowers extra big. Extra, extra. Read all about it. What acrylic do you recommend for 3D? Thank you. You can use any acrylic for 3D. I am using the same acrylic from earlier. This one is Black Hole. Black Hole. And I do add a few drops of acetone to my monomer to speed up the drying time. Anything but cookies and tamales. Okay, we're going to put chupi chupis on there. Are you going to do the whole nail with flowers? Um, I'm going to figure that out as I go. I design shirts and all that good stuff. Maybe I can come up with something. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Do lace nails with roses and bling. Hi. Oh, Lord. What are you wearing? But do you have your chupi chupi in there? My Yeah. Your pizza box, Sule. Chupi chupi with a bottle of monomer hoodie. You are funny, 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 funny. Come show them your lightsaber. No. <laughs> Why not? Because... 
Nails before males. Nails. Oh, damn. This one's... Those flowers are looking good. Thank you, thank you. Someone start a poll so Zule can see who's down for the chupi chupi shirts. Nobody. I already did a poll on Instagram. It was like half and half. Half were like, nah, I wouldn't wear it. The other half were like, hell yeah, I'll wear anything. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do the whole nail yet of flowers. I'm still trying to decide as I I am doing them. I might, but we'll see. We'll see. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, let's do the poll. <laughs> All right, let's do the poll. If you want chupi chupi on the on a shirt, put a happy face. If you don't want chupi chupi on a shirt, put a cry face. That's going to be the shirt you wear when you want to have sexy time with your man. Chupi chupi. It's Chupi Chupi Day. Chupi Chupi. Use your imagination. What does it sound like? Imagination. Okay, Chupi Chupi is winning. Where where did all my voters go? I'll be wearing it every day then. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. You are funny, honey. No. No, we're close to being done, huh? I just got back. What are we voting on? If we want chupi chupi shirts. You're going to feed it to me. Like last night. Ooh. <laughs> We're talking about pizza, guys. Pizza, pizza. Check it out. Check it out. I'm a senora. I can't wear that. Oh, what is that? Mmm. ASMR, guys. Mmm. Mmm. I live in Tennessee. We have a Hispanic community. They will get a kick out of it. <laughs> Pajama. That sounds hard. <laughs> it's really crunchy. Sorry, guys. I'm chewing right now. <clears throat> I don't do my nails every day. I don't do my nails every day, but I change them up quite often because this is my job to do content. So my left hand, I switch it out every three weeks at least. I think it had been three weeks since I did my last set. Right? Three weeks. But my right hand, I change it up more because it's easier for me to do. 
Are you ever considering leaving the salon? Yes, I have thought about it. I have thought about it. I was talking to somebody about that not too long ago. I don't remember if it was one of my clients or who the hell. But um, it's because it's far. It's far. I don't really want to do people's nails anymore, like real people. I just want to do my own people. I mean, my own nails. I mean, maybe I'm just talking on my ass right now, but... I prefer doing my own. I can wear go bling, go home. <laughs> go bling, go home. I feel like when you work, it's a long drive. It kills. Mm hmm. It does. It does. Like, I was just getting to work, and I'm already tired. And then my clients are all super basic. I mean, I like basic nails, but I want to do fun nails, and... A lot of them can't wear that or whatever. So that's why I do my nails often. Zulay new signs should be say blink lines only. Huh. Add como la flor to the chupi chupi. No, when you go to work and everybody only wants French tips, I'm over it. Exactly. It's like, mejor no vengo a trabajar. Or like they'll be like no bling, like bruh, that's all I wanna do. Even if si te regalo un bling, please let me just put it on you. But no, they wanna be señoritas. I'm like, oh, que la verga, yo no quiero hacer eso. A bad bitch. Hmm. Zule, do a pull for Buchona only and go bling or go home, maybe. Zule's Buchonas with a crown. Ooh, that would be cute. All right, guys. So let me finish this petal and then I'll do the, the, the pull. Because my acrylic going to dry. I get to go off on a set Saturday. Excited. Woo. Yeah, girlfriend. Okay, let's do the poll. Um, We're going to do a poll. For the happy face, it's going to be the buchonas, the lace buchonas or something like that. And the other one, what was it again? Go billing, go home. All right. Ready, say go. Which shirt do you prefer? Ready to go. Buchona, Zule's Buchonas. Or how to call it? Go bling, go home. It's a tie right now. It's a tie. This is going to be for our first shirt or two. And then it... Ooh, it's a tie, honey. It's a tie. And then depending on how this goes, we can do more. We're going to have to start a calzon collection. Okay, oh, girl, it's a tie. Come on, Buchona's red. Tie, oh, my God. Oh, no, the bling go home 
one by two votes. ¿Por qué no los dos? Well, I I would like to do two designs to to start off, you know, two different. But we just wanted to have a fun poll. Go bling, go home. Literally, I'm going to wear that shirt every day when I go to work if it says that. Go bling, go home. You know what we should have? Would you like we throw jail? <laughs> Would you like we throw jail? We're going to be like, Would you like we throw jail for your name? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Be like read read oh no, you know what shirt we need? Stop moving. Or like keep your fucking hand in the lamp. Sit straight. <laughs> it's not go bling go home. It's go bling or go home. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious, huh? Relax your hand. Everything we want them to do is going to have to be right in the face. In their face. We need we need stop breathing. That would be good on an apron. Nah, uh, I say relax your hand a lot. Relax your finger. It gets very much business, women. We are not having a scoop sale anytime soon. A shirt of the rules, for real. I do not have a steady hand. You'd be shaking like a leaf. Keep your hands on the table. Uh -huh. Stop rolling around in the fucking chair. Oh, you know what? Um, it would be like depending on your attitude, the price goes up. Ooh, honey, there's no price list depending on your attitude, bitch. These freaking roses, tap tap tap. No, honey, that's your finger. <laughs> Damn, my finger getting whiter and whiter. Ooh, that's a good one. I have short nails and they hurt. I like that. That's why you have no boyfriend. Short nails. Fuck. Be like, you know why you have no boyfriend? Because you have ugly attitude. That's why. It's not the nail. They lie to you. Pick color. <laughs> Pick color, honey. Pick color. We should do a banquiki, banquiki version. But like, whatever you like, me do for you. But don't get crazy. Done in a wrap. Rude. Done in a wrap. I used to have a business card that said, no short nails, no French nails. This reminds me of a set you did a while ago, Zule, with all black roses. Did I do one like that? I don't remember. I mean, I have been doing nails for years, so I'm sure I did some with full black roses. But I like that, Zule. You like? Oh, you're right, Portia. I did. Because they were all black and gold bling, huh? Were they those? I think so.
Mmm. Where's my wrench? Me lo metieron en el hostico ahorita, así bien rapidito. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm gonna do just like that, like a little bush. Like a little bush, not the full nail, so it doesn't look exactly like before. Mm. And then we'll add bling to the rest of the nails. Maybe I should add a, a flower here. Hashtag little bush. Hmm. You make me laugh every time. If I make you laugh, tap the screen, please. Tap the screen. Okay, guys. Welcome to the Lace Nails, home of the nails. You have it your way, but don't get it twisted. <laughs> Uh, but don't get crazy. Pick color, but don't get crazy. Don't get crazy. If you get crazy, just ask for freestyle. No, guys, I'm not going to cover the French. I promise. I'm just doing a little peekaboo here. How to build clients? Um, my recommendation is wearing your nails. Wearing your nails loud and cray cray or the things you like to do and can do so that you can um you can um what is it called? Whenever you go anywhere, you can start finding clients. Like I was saying earlier, today in every store that I went to, they were like, oh, my God, let me see your nails. And then they all wanted a business card. Well, one of the ladies, she did ask me, she's like, do you have a card? And I was like, no, sorry. I lied to her. I told her that I only do them as a hobby. Well, I lied and I didn't lie at the same time because I do do my own nails like for fun, right? But I do do them as for work. Covering French activated. <laughs> I didn't look at it. It's still there. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's funny. Now I shall stay away from the French line. Um, and then how to call it? Um. Uh, the other girls at Marshall's, I told them that I did nails, but I give them my Instagram. I shall not cover the Frenchie. What kind of pizza am I eating? I So my favorite pizza is just chicken and jalapenos. I'm pretty basic. I went to Ikea, same thing, and I was shopping for a client. Mm-hmm, yeah. So that is the way to get clients, guys. Wear your nails, business cards. You can find your clients out there. Another thing is having your clients, actually your clients, if they're happy with your work and with your service, um, they will do the promoting for you. Trust me, that's how I got a lot of my clients. They'll be like walking around with their cute little nails. And um and then how to call it? Um what is it called? And then they'll be like, Oh my god, your nails are so cute. And then they'll be like, Oh, I got them done with Zule. She's over here and this and this and this and that. Why did you lie to the first lady? Um, because I don't like to tell people I do nails. So I don't really like telling people that I do nails anymore because I don't have appointments for them. So I don't want to disappoint, you know? 
So now I just lie to them and be like, oh, I don't do other people's nails or whatever. Because then if I tell them that I do nails, then they're going to follow up with like, oh, do you do you work out here? And I, and I don't. Yeah, like I don't work over here where I live. And I'm not going to do them in my house either. So I'd rather just lie. Because once I tell them the truth, they'll be like, oh, never mind, that's too far. So it's like, I'd rather just not continue the conversation. Because sometimes I'm in a hurry or, you know, like I don't want to hold up the line. People are going to be like, what the fuck, bitch? Shut the fuck up. Let her do her damn job. <laughs> oh, solamente mientes. Dependiendo la gente. Yeah. Tell them you do nails, but your hands is about to fall off right now and walk away. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, honey. Be like, yo no más, yo no más hago uñas buchonas, okay? So, si no te gusta lo exagerado, no. No soy tu técnica de uñas. Did you do marble underneath? Yes. I did a little bit of marbling. I'm not going to be covering the whole nail. If that's what you're scared of, guys. I'm not going to do that. I'm just doing a little petal here. A little leaf. Tell them you got injured in the chupi chupi. Oh, my God. I wish I could fast forward the life so I can see how these nails turn out and go to sleep. Don't worry, Jenny. You could just wake up tomorrow. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, girl, and then tomorrow you'll see them on Instagram. I'm sorry it takes so long. And just one more leaf, little leaf right over the fringe. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You guys know me so well. I'm not going to cover the, the fringe. I'm not. You don't know me. That's my purse. I don't know you. I don't know you. Oh, so I didn't show you guys my pizza, huh? Look, this is what my pizza looks like. Just chicken with jalapeno. Like one little side chicken with two jalapenos. Girl, you know how cool it feels for you to say my name on live? I feel so lucky because you're famous. <laughs> Girl, you're going to make me blush. I am not famous, honey. She just choked on a jalapeno. <laughs> Yo aquí soy vieja loca. I don't know how to do acrylic nails, but do you think I'll be able to achieve petals? Hell yeah, you can. And we have started to cover the French. And just kidding. Make your own pizza with chicken alfredo sauce and jalapeno. Ooh. Okay, ladies, send me baby prayers. I'm about to wake up hubby con el chupi chupi. Oh my God. Bless you. Sending you baby prayers, girl. That pizza looked depressed. <laughs> For real. That's why I don't like pizza no more. It's like, dude, I know y'all tight. But like, can you fucking put a little bit more... 
more toppings. This is like if I wanted a cheese pizza, I would have just said that. Ya deja esa uña en paz. Mira, yo le quiero poner más pétalos. Making me feel like I can do this knowing I don't have patience. You can do it. You can do it. They gave you two jalapenos. <laughs> They're like, es que el pollo está muy caro. Está muy caro. All the ones I get are never that pointy. All right, guys. Now it's time for the bling. The bling, a ling, a ling, a ling, a ling, a ling, a ling. Sorry, Jenny. I missed your previous message. I'm not sure what you said about pointy. My pizza? Nice. Nice. All right, guys. Let's pop out this bling. It's getting hot in here. Twenty years later. Let me unbutton my pants. Okay, bling bling, where are you? I didn't even see chicken. It's right here. <laughs> Look, Paige. Find the chicken. Ready, set, go. It's right here. Mm, Zule, if you've never tried the handmade pizza, the pan pizza from Domino's, try it. You will never go back to regular. Ooh, I haven't. Oh, my panza. Mm -hmm. one, one piece. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get my Charoski. My Charoski and my non Charoski, como dicen mis amigas. All right, so this big box is the good, good, and this one's the not good, good. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I wait. I'm not sure how much bling I'm gonna put, but we're about to bedazzle my hand because I always leave this this hand longer. I should do like a big big one, huh? Go big, go home. Or should I do this one? Oh, this one's so pretty. I love this fucking color. I love it. I don't care. I love it. Le voy a hacer un pincho hoyo a la uña la verga. I'm going to put this one on my nail. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Let's make a hole on my nail. Let's make a dip, I mean. When I dip, you dip. A ver. Es mi colección. Pero yo también vendo... Um, yo también vendo el, el Charoski, amiga. Tengo algunos en mi página. Your shirt can say the good, good. Do you sell these gems or can I purchase them? Um, Yes, I do sell. These kind are the Swarovski, so I don't have many available. But the other one, the really big one that I'm about to put on, I do have it on my store. Hold on, guys. Let me put my finger down. So I can start making a hole. Okay, I think that should be good enough. 
so i still have the good good available in my store i'm actually gonna be adding a few more like i was saying i guess i'm gonna just let some go because my clients are fucking boring they don't want no bling and i just have too much bling that i will not be able to use in a lifetime that's how much bling i have because i'm an addict i'm an addict and i've been collecting bling for years all right let me get my cluster gel so i'm gonna use my cluster gel for your nail you want any more i'm i still have it Hola, Tocaña. Hola, Sulema. So I'm going to place it here. And the reason why I did the little hole is so that I don't put it in a cluster. I could just lay it flat. You do have a lot of bling. And you guys have not seen all my bling. If you saw that video of my bling, that's not even all of it. I just didn't want to show it all because... Lo me van a querer venir a robar. Yeah, we all have, we all collect things, huh? What are you guys' collect, what do you guys like to collect? I like to collect bling and mugs. Okay, I think that is good. Let me just get my lamp. Lamp, lamp. It's never too big. Funko Pops, Starbucks cups. I like t-shirts. Shoes. Okay. Aquí tenemos de todo. Pandora charms and rings, candles, makeup and nail supplies. It's crazy. Starbucks cups. I collect mugs, makeups, and clothes. I collect men. Oh, honey, where do you get that big rhinestone? It's from my website. Check the rhinestone category. Thousands of cookies and makeup I never use. Oh, no, Paige. Don't worry, we're all guilty. Mm-mm-mm, mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I already told my kids that they buried me to bling <clears throat> to bling out my casket so I could take it with me. That's marker. I collect being broke having no money. What? Gold. Uh who got muted? Shoes, nail charms, bling. Perfumes, please enseñame tus uñas. Okay, espérate, espérate. So I'm just turning my finger in the lamp. I collect money too. That's true, me too. We have to collect the paper. So did someone say I collect welfare? Um, give me some. <laughs> some girls said the bling was too big. I know I saw. It. It's never too big here. Las voy a recrear. Okay, te invito que las recrees. How you liking the lamp? I like, I lie, honey, I lie. A mí me pica las cookies. <laughs> a mí también me picaban las cookies, pero ya no. Tienes que tener control, amiga. Yes, I know this big bling is not for everyone, but 
like she said go big go home we don't do nothing small here how am i gonna put a small diamond on a big a big ass nail like this look guys my glue has gone it was non-used for quite a while and see how easy it was for me to open it okay i'm gonna put a few little diamonds in my flowers Damn, just be careful when I put too much bling. We don't like simple. Yup, they do not like simple. If I do simple nails, I will get no likes. So I have to give these choopy choopy queens what they want. Choopy choopy. And just kidding. They want to see nail, bling, bling, nail. Zule, mine was open like that. My son got it all over his leg. I had to oil him up with kirk oil. Oh my God, girl. Good thing he didn't have... Well, I hope he didn't have pants on. Because did you guys know that glue has like a whole reaction when it comes in contact with like fabric? I got nail glue on my fucking pants. That shit burned. So be careful with glue. Any type of glue especially if it's on cotton bling bling nails are expensive too but i love them mm -hmm. yeah it's because the bling bling is expensive the bling bling is expensive so What's your favorite shapes? I love pears and I love emeralds. Those are my ultimate favorites. And Marquise. Marquise. That's why I do my own saves a lot of money. Mm-hmm. It does save money. Money, 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 money. Some people don't like to do their own nails, though. What's the name of the big teardrop rhinestones? This one? Teardrop. Oh. Wait. You don't have to show me a picture. When you whistle, my dogs look. <laughs> Pinches perritos chismosos. We all became nail techs when COVID hit. For real. Like a huevo. Raise your hand if that's when you started doing nails when COVID. The one on your finger. Oh, this one? It's under Zule crystals. And it's... I think I called it fancy pear. Something like that. But it should be like... um, Like under the chaton crystals or something i could whistle <laughs> a ver cuál más me pongo uno más grandote para que digan ay no qué grande es the only bad thing about having coffin nails is that I can't really do too big because they <clears throat> they stick up the nail. Oh, to see chief Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You thought I was joking? A huevo que si chiflo. Oh, que la chinga se me cayó mi, mi bling bling. Ahora sí van a andar. Ahí viene la buchona. 
So this brown one, the crystal golden shadow that I'm using, this is not Swarovski. These are part of the Zule crystals, just in case you like. Oh my God, I need that. Per stone in Arizona is five cookies and up, depending on size. Yup. These crystals are expensive, especially the good quality ones. They cost money, honey. Do you reuse your stones? Um, I have reused them on like my fake hand, but not on myself. Never. I need new bling each and every time. Like, uh-uh. I have too many crystals to not wear, not wear new ones. But if and when the day comes where I'm running out and I can't be just putting them on like that, then I'll reuse them or maybe not. My Zule crystals are actually really great quality as well, so... I got my own to glue on at home after I get them done. Ooh, smart. Smart girl. So I'm just gonna almost fully bedazzle this bitch. It's like Zule is asking to pull on something. So once upon a time, I was taking a shower. And I had this stupid raindrop on my nail. Tell me why it got stuck on the fucking curtain. I pulled that shit and it broke my crystal in half. Um, oh, you're proud of me for not covering the French, right? I told you I wasn't going to cover it. I've been trying to, like, plan my design in advance. So I'm just going to put some glue around my big bling to secure it. Even this one, the pair, because the glue's good. But when the bling is too big, you still need to um secure it, guys. Because the glue and the cluster jar are good, but. But, but, but. En un putazo puede salir volando if it's not secured. I don't think I have a marquise. A big one. I want a big one. I have a fake marquise that's round. Put two stones on the side of the pair. Oh, right here, huh? Mm, good one, Sylvia. Good one, honey. Because I'm about to be bald as fuck. Like, I'm already bald. I'm about to be extra bald now. I actually put one in the middle. Oh, fuck. I put one in the middle so I don't pull my hair. Smart, Zulay. Smart. That's the main thing I focus on when blinging out nails. That's funny. Like, fuck my clients. Let their hair get pulled. Ain't just kidding. Fucking stupid right hand. Can you relax and grab the bling before my glue dries? Smart. I can't really feel when my hair gets pulled by my diamonds no more. It's like either I like getting my hair pulled or I'm just used to it. Like, it doesn't hurt. 
Or I just don't touch my hair like that, you know? Yay, the cow nails are on YouTube. I can watch them. Woo! 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 This is my favorite part. Now time to make it extra cray cray. Let's see. What am I going to do? What am I going to do today? Nale. Um, which glue is better? They are the same. Oh, you mean the cluster gel? They're both good. Any glue on my store is good. Whether it's a cluster gel or the bling adhesive. They, they all do a very, very good job. It's more like preference. What do you like? Do you like it to dry fast or do you like it to dry when you're ready? So if you're more of a person who is like, you like to be in control, whether it's with your man or with the nails, and eh, just kidding, um, then that's what you get. Like, I personally like my shit to dry fast. I don't know about y'all, but I get irritated when the fucking blings are moving around. So... I prefer the bling adhesive, but not everybody is like Zulay, so that's why we have two kinds. How often do I do my I wait my pickle out huh? I do my nails um at least every three weeks on this hand. Oh, shit. So I use the cluster gel for pixies and for pointed back crystals. And the flat back, for the flat backs, I use the bling adhesive. Come on, you stupid little glue. Stay. Uh, 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 honey. So I'm just going to put some bling here, like pretend like it's baby little clusters. Why is one refrigerated? Um, Because you're supposed to refrigerate your glue, not gel. You don't refrigerate gel, you refrigerate glue. Even your nail glues, you should keep refrigerated when not in use. My hand is so fucking dry. It's not even funny. Look at my hand. It's so dry. That's how much I use it. I did your baby cow print nails on one of my clients and she loved it. Aww. All I keep in my room fridge is alcohol. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I don't refrigerate my glue at the salon because I don't have a refrigerator. But if you do have one, I, I do recommend to refrigerate. If you don't refrigerate it, it's cool. It's still going to be there, but it just dries up faster. I see you use the activator. What is that and how? So the activator just helps the glue dry faster. Because sometimes you might think the glue is dry, but it's not 100% dry. And it will turn white slash foggy if, if it dries um, too slow. Like, especially in the winter. Because there's like little water molecules that we don't see in the air. Um, that will turn your glue white. So now that I'm done with this nail, I'm just going to spray activator. So this is it. Let me spray it that way. Oh, damn. I just sprayed my pizza. Damn. 
Doesn't that look gorgeous? The more bling we put, the better it's going to start looking, guys. Um, Like, you don't have to use the activator, okay? You don't have to use it, but just know that it's going to be your best friend. It's going to be your best friend once you use it. Especially in the winter. When is the activator back in stock? I actually have not been able to get my hands on it. The company has been out of stock. So... I was told that maybe this week coming up, they'll have it back in stock. So I'll let you guys know on Saturday. On, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, on Saturday, I'll see if I could get some more. Love the nails. Thank you. Andale pinche diamond, está bien chueco, está bien chueco. Hold on, guys. I need to clip it off before it dries. Um, this is the only bad thing about the glue. Oh, it's not even dry yet. Psych, Zule. It was acting like it was dry, and then I was going to clip it, and boom, it moved. Like, so play with me. All right, sorry guys, so I'm not looking at the comments. I am concentrated. Ah, ya entendí, ya entendí. Hold on, I put my fucking diamond crooked. Why is nobody telling me that? What days do you go live? I don't have a specific day for lives. Oh, look at that. She was hella dry. Take it off. I don't have a schedule to go live. I just go live cuando se me hincha el huevo. Bitch. It's stuck. It doesn't want to come off. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Having technical difficulties here with the diamond. Does I want to leave my nail now? I'm going to have to file it off. This is proof. This is proof that it does good job. Motherfucker, can you leave the nail already? All right, hold on, guys. Hold on. Let me pop out the big boy. Hey, you thought you couldn't come off, huh? You little bitch. Hold on, now let me just file it off. The little glue. Ooh. Did you ever encapsulate a diamond? Yes, I did encapsulate a diamond once. Don't do that, guys. Don't encapsulate diamonds. They will not look pretty. 
they will not look pretty. Um, if you encapsulate a diamond, it will just look like a flat circle, or like a little piece of glitter. Trust me, I've done it before. It's not worth it. If your client doesn't like bling, just put her a glitter. Don't encapsulate nothing. Do you take clients? Yes, I do. I do take clients. I just don't post their nails because they're boring. They're boring and then and then I don't get no likes. So might as well not post them. Sorry, clients, if you're watching and you're like, is that why you don't post my shit? Yes, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. They are not Instagram worthy. I told that to one of my clients and she's like, that's fucked up. I'm like, it's true though. It's true though, honey. You want to be on the gram, then you gotta earn it. Get something more beautiful. I did someone's nails and regret not charging them for the two times I've done their nails. What? What? Girl, what do you mean? Oh, shit. Isolate. What's up with you fucking up your bling? You know what? Fuck it. I'm not even going to be OCD right here. We just Did I put two different sizes? What glue are you using for the gems? I'm using the Zule Bling Adhesive. Um, what does somebody ask me right now? If I plan to do bigger squeeze bottles. Um, no, I think the size is perfect only because if you contaminate it, you don't ruin the rest of the product, you know? Yep, my freestyles, I do post. I do post those. And my own nails. That's why my whole nails are all over my page. Because this is the only interesting content we got going on. Yeah, because now I'm running out of stuff. And I'm not doing their nails again. Because they hella rude. Oh, hell no, Kyle. Do you sell the bling boxes? Oh, okay. Um, I don't sell them fixed up like this. I filled the box in by like little by little. Um, but I do sell some bling boxes that are already put together, but it's not this one specifically. This one is the good, good. The ones I have are not Swarovski, but they're still good. All righty. Okay, this is all I'm going to do to that one. I wanted some little bling without having to do a swirl because I always do that. A ver, a ver. I'm a ver la colita. We need some bling on this pinky. I'm going to do something towards the tip because I always do it at the top. So, so we just got to change it up a little bit. Switch it up, Zule. You can't do the same thing all the time. No. That one's too big. Oh my god, honey. I just saw a Marquise. Oh my gosh. It's in here. Zule girl. Do unpost pics of Mimi's nails or you just post the videos here? Um, I do both, I think. Right? I post both. Only that right now, pictures are not a thing on Instagram. 
Like if we post pictures, they don't do very well. So people don't really post pictures as much. Only videos, because we get to do audios. I get to talk on them. The girls are saying black bling. I don't think I want black bling. Sorry, ladies. I need it to shine bright like a diamond. Right now, when I put the top coat, you will understand why. Because it's going to camouflage. They're going to be like, is that bling? Or is that? I don't know. That's too big. I'm asking to get hurt. Nope. Like, what I'm going for here in the pinky is like, the. I want people to be like, is that bling or is that glitter? Is that flitter? What does she have on her pinky? That's so shiny. No, this glue does not get cured. It dries. It dry. It air dries. I just want to sparkle at night. Um, one of these days, I'm gonna do a full black nails bling bling so you guys can see how beautiful that looks but not today the only thing that's gonna be black is my flowers oh my god look i just noticed these two are like more golden black and then these have a little bit more black so sexy yes 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 you guys like what you see like what you see honey because if you don't like what you see then close your eyes Zule hey sorry I don't know if you guys noticed but once I start to bedazzle it's like Zule shuts the fuck up because I'm so into my bling it's like I get lost in the in the bling bling. It sound like BB-8 or Arturito. Arturito. Golden Hour Jail. Golden Hour Jail. Golden Hour Jail on the smile line. Oh, on the French? You guys want me to cover my French? I'm down. I just don't want to mess it up. All right, hold on, guys. Let me just finish this right here. I'm just kidding. It's not going to get covered. It's just going to get up upgraded. It's like I'm going to paint the French with gold. Ahí viene la buchona. Ne, 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 ne. Okay, let me spray activator really fast. Lule, stop dancing over here. Let me spray activator. We're not going to cover the French. I'm just kidding. So I'm just going to outline it. And anyway, my French is not even nowhere near perfect. It's like missing a whole piece of black over here. <laughs> Me lo boche. <clears throat> so hopefully, pray for me, guys. Pray for me that I don't make it worse. And if I do, I could just take it off. It's okay. All right, I think. Oh shit. What color from the golden hour should I use? Should I use dark champagne, light gold, or rose gold? <clears throat> I've never used copper. Look, 
Look, let me show you guys the glitter first. The, the glitter is like a pink and a gold. Champagne. Look at Ooh, honey. Oh my gosh. I say rose. Well, let me pop them out first and then we can do a poll. Actually, let me buff this at the top first. Cause since I didn't file, um, I didn't file my my nail. There's like a little thing of right here so let me just buff that let me just buff that little line they look so good mama fuck it pues si no se borró la línea oh well le voy a tener que poner bling bling <laughs> Okay, let me get the, the gels. Um, I actually have one right here. I have dark champagne right here. Okay, let me get the pink one. The rose, rose gold, I mean. Rose gold. All right, let's see which one you like better. So this one is rose gold. Ooh, honey, so cute. Uh, liner. I'm gonna need the fucking size twenty-five. Here you are. All right, let me get my palette. Let me get my little palette. So this is rose gold, guys. Let me just mix it up. I think the dark champagne is going to look. So that one's rose gold. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys the dark champagne. So this one has kind of like a little peachy look to it, like bronzy. And then dark champagne is a little bit more brown look let me show you guys real quick so side to side let's see let's compare to the nail Ooh, they'll both look really nice. But I think dark champagne wins, huh? Dark champagne doesn't want to look really nice on like some orange nails. Okay, I'm going to do dark champagne only because this one has a little orange tone to it, which I don't mind at all, but... But I feel like the dark champagne would just look nicer. All right, guys. Wish me luck with the French because <laughs> fucking shit. All right, Delay. You could do this, girl. I'll just start on this side. I need help. 
I should have done this before the flower. <laughs> Don't be scared, girl. Let me use my opposite hand. Oh my god. Oh my god. Notice a comment. I ain't even looking at the comments. I'm scared. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Steady Eddie. How am I going to round it out with that flower in the way? I think I'm going to have to shave it off. Zule we trust. Okay, okay, I could do this. I could do this. Slowly make the curve. Slowly. No, hombre, aquí salió todo Twix. Yeah, I fucked that up, guys. Me afraid to tap because I don't want to move you. I mean, it looks cute, but I didn't do a good job. <laughs> oh, my God. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah. I'm not loving my French. <laughs> okay, let me try thicker. The good thing is I could erase. Hold on, let me go this way. It's going to be like an eyeliner. So if you guys got this in your in your scoops, you lucky, honey, you lucky. Do it over, empieza de nuevo. Ay, aquí voy a durar toda la noche. When in doubt, bling it out. All right, I guess this will do. I mean, doesn't look too bad, huh? It's looking good, rock star. Rock star. Oh, okay. I think I did pretty well. Y'all need this brush in your life. It like does the line for you almost. Wow, wow, oh man, hold on, let me just clean the side over here, okay, ma'am, imagine the nail was matte, and that, so this, these gels are no wipe, guys, you guys can, you don't need a top coat on them, so you could do, you could do the nail matte, and if you want that gel shiny like that to pop, you could do that. You could do that, honey. Maybe next time in another set, I'll do that. They look bomb. I'm not going to do the mat today, but I'm just saying that would be an idea for those of you guys who like mat. All right, let me cure this in the lamp before I fuck it up any further. Frame the same tip. Nice. 100% worth it. 
I bought the whole gel collection. Can't wait to swatch them. You're gonna love them. Manicure it. When you use acetone to clean the to clean the mistake, it doesn't make your nail tacky. Um, I don't use acetone. I use gel. I mean, um, what do you, what do you mean? ¿Cómo se llama? Uh, alcohol. How much would you cry if you broke with that bling? Uh, what do you mean? Gonna have to make a purchase soon. Alcohol, alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alcohol. That's what I meant to say. I I do it with alcohol. I clean with alcohol. Is what I meant to say. If you broke a nail. Oh, girl. Don't tell me that. I'm gonna fucking cry. Nah, just kidding. I don't cry. I just cuss. I just cuss. Can you make these into liners instead of pods? Um, Sorry, Stacy, but no. Nah, just kidding. I, I prefer the pods only because... You can choose to use a liner brush to use them as a, in a liner or with your gel brush, you could do a full nail. No swearing, broken nail, uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like if you want to um paint a whole nail, you can without having to, how to call it? Well, I mean, you have to use a different brush, but I don't know. I like the little pods better. Because I've had liner brushes. I did think of that, but then I prefer using the gel brush to paint on versus taking out the little, the little fucking, the little brush and then painting. I get freaking messy with everything. That's why. So the less mess, the better. With with regular gel polishes or even like the little striping ones, I make a mess. I don't know why. I'm a weirdo. So look, you could see right here the two different tones. That one's a little bit more orangey and that one's more golden. And then I like to be a little different. I feel like everyone and their mama has the liner brushes already, the gels. So I don't want to be like everybody else. Can you use different acrylic powders while using your monomer? Yes, you can. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Zulate No Wipe Top Coat. Let's zoom it in so you guys can see the shine. Lip gloss, honey. Lip gloss. Am I on the view? Beautiful. Beautiful. Me pasé de verga y le puse un chingo de top coat. Hold on, let me take over the excess. You love, you love, you love. For those of you guys have who have not tried this top coat, you need it in your life too. So let me make sure I have very little product. I did put a lot right now just to be exaggerated, but... Um, the glitter is called Buchona Vibes. So check it out. Gorgeous. Right? I knew you guys would love the glitter. Very beautiful. This is going to be one of my favorite sets. Um, this is my Tuffin top coat. And I like this top coat because it's 
thin, but thick enough to conceal like little scratches on a nail. So if you guys don't buff the nails very well, like you know how I always tell you guys to leave scratches, the top coat kind of hides those. Unless they're like super like deep and shit, then it doesn't hide them. But... For the most part, it does. Or like if you have glue all over, it pretty much hides it. Because I always be telling you guys that to leave scratches on your nail a little bit. Top coat likes to stick to rough, rougher surfaces. Remember the little line that was on my nail? Where is it at? Where'd it go? It's gone. Like, where you go, honey? Honey, honey. Yes, my clients come after four weeks and they still shiny. Mm -hmm. As long as they don't touch their fucking nails, they will continue to shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. When are you doing Reina's nails? I don't know. Reina does not like nails. She don't like the nail. Damn, I got alcohol on my fucking little petal and it turned white. Not good. I'm gonna have to go wash it. Reina likes senora nails. Uh huh, she does. She's like a senora already. Just a little bit. I'm going to go around, put a shiny top coat. What made you start a product line? Um, so one of the main reasons why I started my own brand was because <clears throat> when I started doing nails, how to call it, they didn't really have a lot of good products. So I wanted to bring better quality stuff to to the industry and a lot a lot of people really like to buy the things that I use because they trust me so even before I started my own brand like I would sell my favorites on my store which is what I was saying earlier that that's how I started my store because people would be like oh my god where'd you get this oh my god da, 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 da. you know because I would always like show them my favorite things so i was like okay well now my goal well back then i told myself that my goal was to start creating my own favorite products so i that's what i did i was like okay let me let me start a zule brand because it would be nice to see my name on other things but loki was kind of scary because a lot of people won't support you that's the one thing that I guess keeps me motivated because a lot of people will not like there's nail techs that were like big and badass or whatever that would like look at me like I'm a nobody when I started. Right. And now they try to like talk to me and it's like, Felicia, bye. You treated me like shit before, so don't try to be my friend now. Or whatever, right? So be nice to people, guys. You don't know who they're going to be in the future. Just in general, not just in the nail industry. But be nice because they're probably going to be your boss. They're probably going to be your fucking boss. Okay. Like, stay humble, everybody. But yeah, I feel like a lot of people who start their own brand... We do it more because we want to make a difference, you know? We want to be provide good products um, because it's something that we're passionate about. Some people do it for different reasons, but 
those were my reasons at first like i said earlier my store happened just by by a hobby but now over the years it turned into more than a hobby my nails look nice on the lamp i'm like oh honey that's so sexy can i see your face yeah it's on my instagram go check it out i have selfies on there there's a lot of hatred everywhere in the workforce just in general everywhere not just the workforce shit there's fucking haters everywhere even in your own house Oh, one nail tech was saying she won't pay under 20 cookies. Um, 20 cookies for acrylics because she wants quality. What? Oh, I thought you... Okay, okay, I understand. I love those red and black nails. What happened to the spider on your nail? It was big and cute. Girl, I lost it in my glove at work. I said not all big brands have quality. Mm-hmm, that's true. Expensive doesn't mean good quality. It sure don't. That's why, that's the sad thing. Like, like people, también, they go with popularity. Like, oh, just because somebody's popular, they're going to go support them. And it's like, no, Felicia. You have to make sure their shit is good, too. Say that again for the people in the back. That's true. She's doing a tutorial about nails, not face makeup. <laughs> but expensive don't mean good quality. You should do bling for the spider body so it looks complete again. I'm actually going to change these nails already. Um, on, I was going to say tomorrow, but that's a little soon, huh? On Friday. Have you tried doing VS here? Mm -hmm. What is VS? It would be funny if you made one with Mimi. Do you do your toenails bling down? I do sometimes. Right now, they're just plain Jane, but I'll probably... Um, I'll probably go get another pedicure because I don't like this color. I don't love it. So maybe I'll bling them out. Ooh, I should do black nails, huh? Zule, you need to go live with Mimi. I know last time we were supposed to go live and we forgot. When people split the screen and get... Oh. Here's my nail with the spider. With the X spider. Let me clean my bling. I've purchased many different variety of things from Zule and never had a problem. The only problem that you do have with my products is that they're addicting. And that's not a problem. <laughs> it's an addiction. Oh, she's saying you should go live with you and Mimi. Who's screaming? I keep hearing screaming in the back. Oh, yeah, it's a TV. Let me cool down these nails. Yes, it's a problem. It's an addiction. Uh-huh. Yes. I was about to say, what the fuck I put? I didn't put gel, but it's a leaf. It's a leaf. All right, let me put a little cuticle oil because this is my dry ass hand. I recreated your spider it was so much fun. Yes, girl. Mm. 
Check it out, guys. Do you lie? Don't I have a fucking whole roll of... What happened to my roll of napkins? Did it fall? Let me put my rings on. Hold on. Let me just clean some of this oil because I look a little too oily. It looks like I had uh, chicken. I did have chicken in my pizza, but like... But like chicken, chicken. Oh my god, me gusta. I mean, no me gusta. Me encanta. You have a housekeeper, right? You can clean with those nails. I do not have a housekeeper, but I fucking need one. Shit. I clean. My, my mom helps me clean too. But last time when I was cleaning, I fucking. I scratched my fucking cabinet. I was so mad at myself. So right now I'm just cleaning, buffing the little bling bling with a, a napkin. Just with nothing on it to take off the fingerprints. Let me put my rings on. Oh, damn. I literally just got a napkin. doesn't have anything on it. Just to take off any fingerprints or residue from the stick. I have I put on the same fucking rings on the same fingers all the time, huh? And y'all thought my rings were not gonna fit. Check it out now. Andale, pinche anillo. I definitely need more rings. Oh, this one doesn't fit my fat finger. So this is the finished look. What do you guys think? When? I, <laughs> girl, when do you sleep? You're always working. I know, huh? I sleep from midnight to like 8, 9 a.m. This ain't no flitter. This ain't no flitter, honey. Okay. All these rings, I got them from Yia Accessories. She is on Instagram and on TikTok. I will tag her on my Instagram always. I'll tag her on here too, actually, when I do my video. But aren't they gorgeous? Wow. The pinky, doesn't it look like... Is that fully blinged or is it glitter? Is it fully blinged or is it glitter? Which one's your favorite nail? The ring finger, the ring finger, the middle finger, the pinky, the ring. Um, Who was the one who said the bling was too big? Are you in here? What do you think about it now? The pinky. The ring. Raise your hand if you're going to recreate this. Raise your hand. The middle has it all for real. It has flower, it has bling. Yeah. Woo. Oh, you kicked her out. Oh man. All right, guys. Well, this is the end of this set. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you for the likes, for the love, for the laughs, for everything. I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe on Thursday, but definitely go show me. Some love tomorrow when I post these nails, okay?
Good night, everyone. I like all the buchona bling. Yes, honey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, good night, everyone. Sweet dreams. Bye bye. Vayanse a montar a su caballo. El chupi chupi. Titi me preguntó que si tenía chupi chupi. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye. I'm a blind the bitch right here. Like, woo, 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 woo. Are you team stiletto or are you team coffin? They're fucking long as shit, man. Stiletto all the way. Oh shit, I'm not even, I don't even have my hands in. They're so long, they don't fit. They don't fit in the screen. Sule, no se quiere ir a dormir. No, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Okay, ahora sí, ahora sí, ahora sí. Okay, bye guys. See you later, alligators. Una noche más. Y copas de más, tú no me dejas en paz, de mi mente no te vas.